Russia's Kronstadt Group has presented a mock-up of a new stealth combat drone named Thunder Grom that can team up with a manned jet like Su-57 to break through enemy air defense systems, from Defense World Source. As promised, we are showing new promising unmanned aerial vehicles, Sirius, and Thunder. Next to them are mock-ups of aviation weapons developed by Kronstadt and other Russian enterprises specifically for these UAVs, Kronstadt company announced on its official Facebook account on August 24. Some of the munitions displayed include the CAB 500, MAM-L, CAB 250 and ISDELI 85. Military observers speculated the Thunder to be smaller, cheaper, loyal wingman, alternative to Suhoi Su-57's Okhotnik. In September 2019, the Okhotnik performed a flight together with a Su-57 fifth-generation fighter. The drone maneuvered in the air in the automated mode at an altitude of around 1,600 meters and its flight lasted over 30 minutes. The Thunder is capable of working in conjunction with manned aircraft overcome enemy air defenses. The drone will open the air defense, find the radar stations and destroy them, Vladimir Voronov, director of the Kronstadt Advanced Research Center, was quoted as saying by Interfax during the ongoing Army 2020 forum. The Thunder is designed to support Su-35 and Su-57 fighter jets, Nikolai Dolzhenkov, general designer of the aircraft development company, Kronstadt, told reporters on Monday. The stealthy Thunder can attain speeds of about 1,000 kmph. Weighing 7 tons, the drone has a payload of 2,000 kilograms. The drone can carry 100 kilograms, 250 kilograms and 500 kilograms bombs. It has four suspension points, two under the wing consoles and two inside the fuselage. Combat radius of the drone is 700 kilometers and it can reach altitude of 12,000 meters. Height and wingspan of the drone is 3.8 meters and 10 meters respectively. It can be made quite economical in terms of development, since it has a high level of unification with the Orion drone. In addition, there is a very high potential for unification with the Yak-130 combat trainer, since they are in the same class in terms of speed and mass production, the official noted. Also developed by Kronstadt, the Orion has a maximum takeoff weight of 1 ton and a maximum payload of 200 kilograms. The drone has a service ceiling of 7.5 kilometers and its maximum flight duration with the standard payload is 24 hours. The drone can fly at speeds of up 200 kmph. At the Army 2020 event, the company also displayed a mock-up of Sirius drone, touted to be Russia's biggest ever drone with a wingspan of 30 meters. The Sirius is the next modification of the Orion. In fact, there is only a new airframe and associated chassis-type systems. It however, is larger in size. It has higher payload and greater combat effectiveness, Voronov explained. There are plans to build a flight-capable demonstrator by 2021. The Sirius is expected to have a satellite communications complex aboard, allowing it to be operated at almost unlimited range. It will have capabilities for use in both reconnaissance and combat missions, a Kronstadt official said. The new drones have been offered to the Russian military. A company official further stated that prototypes of the drones presented at the forum have not yet been built. Future plans depend on the contract, he said. <laughs>